Hey guys, it's Julia here, and this video is going to be a bit different because not only am I showing a looking back on my desktop, but I'm also showing my new office remodeling because as you guys know, I talked about it several times in the last looking back videos where I said I'm going to remodel my office, and here it is. It's where my main setup is, so I thought I'd show it in this video because it'd be appropriate here, and because I'm probably not going to do another office tour video, I'm just going to put it in this one. So we walk in, there's my windows pinata, my cleaning cloth, my phone collection over there, which I just have it right there because it's not in the bins anymore. And then you guys can see this is my other desk, which I keep my other laptop that I leave on all the time as a backup, my headphones, my phone boxes, and then here's like another setup right here, or if I want to use this computer, which I don't really use it often, but it's kind of just there as a backup, or if I need it for something, I just leave it right there. And I leave it running. So it's hooked up like a desktop. I can open it up and have two screens if I want to, but because I don't use it much, I usually just keep it closed. I also have these ties here, which these are actually really useful. I used them to tidy up my office cords because I got a new table, as you guys can see. It's a lot better than the old desk I had before because, you know, I have more space in between. I can push my chair in and stuff like that. And obviously, this is my desktop that I built back in May 2019. I did clean the side, as you guys can see, before I started the video. I got some Windex and I cleaned off the side, both, both sides of it too. The computer is going to need a dusting soon again, so I'm going to have to get some compressed air and clean the system out because it's been about since the beginning of the year. So January 2022, I actually took it outside, cleaned it out with compressed air and cleaned the fans out and stuff like that. But now it's about due for another cleaning. So, I don't know why the cooler doesn't have a light. I think I disabled it at one point because my computer was on top of the filing cabinet, which is right here, because I used to have it back here, and the monitors would cover it, so I kind of disabled the RGB. However, the lights on the case are on, probably because it got reset when I unplugged it. So, yeah. But you guys can see the cords are a bit messy. I did tidy them up as much as I could, but because of how many cords there are, I can't make it perfect, but it's good enough, I'd say. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I have my little phone cable here since I have to plug my phone in the computer often to put videos on it that I record. And then my dongle for my headphones are over there too, which I do actually have a new pair of headphones right here, but I just haven't used them much because I just found them not feeling as comfortable. And I did fix the issue with these ones because I had to super glue them together because this plastic piece broke. And once I did that, they're fine. They haven't had any issues. I'm still gonna keep those or have them as a backup or use them for another system. So that's why I just keep them right there in case I want to use them or if these die or something like that, I keep them there. So you can see my other few desktops. These are the only three other desktops I decided to keep. I got rid of all the other ones. So I have the Dell Inspiron 570, the Dell Inspiron 620, and the HP Pavilion desktop that I showed in previous videos before looking back. Here I still have a few computers like some broken ones and casings for the Toshiba C655s and stuff. I still have the Wise Thin Client. I was supposed to get rid of it, but I didn't because I forgot to get rid of it and now I can't really at the moment, but I will be getting rid of it because I actually have no use for it, but I don't want to throw it away. I want to recycle it. So I was already planning on getting rid of it, but it didn't end up happening. Um. Anyways, in this store, I just keep like my hard drives and stuff in them mostly like old hard drives and random cables and stuff like that since I got rid of one of these bins because I had three of these but I had to move one out to the garage so I pretty much just took stuff I needed out of it and then put stuff I really don't need in it and then put it in the garage but I wanted to keep this one because being honest, these bins I think were better. Even though they're smaller, they seem more sturdy because these ones are just breaking and falling apart and I don't like them. I'm not going to keep these for much longer because you guys don't know this, but eventually I'm probably going to be moving. So this office will be, you know, not my office anymore at some point. But I redid the lights in here as well. As you can see, the lights have been redone. But this video is not really about my office. It's supposed to be more about my desktop, but this is the setup of my desktop. I have three monitors, and these are two 27-inch monitors. This one's like a 
I think it's like a 24, I think, but I basically have this monitor and I used it for a while and then I got this one and I used to have three 27 inch monitors, but I had another one of these Dell monitors and unfortunately when I was cleaning it fell over and broke, so I had to get rid of it. So I had to downgrade my monitor back to this because one of them broke. But at least I got this HP monitor like even before because I actually really like this as a main monitor. And the one that broke was my old main monitor, I believe, that I used to have in the center. I think that's the one that fell because I pushed it over this way and then I put the new one there and then it fell. So that, that kind of stinks, but... Anyway, so this is my keyboard. It's a Logitech keyboard. The keys seem to be yellowing on this one because this is supposed to be a white keyboard, but they're turning yellow and they look really yellow in the video. They're not as yellow in person, but I do plan eventually to get a new keyboard, but honestly, it's fine for me right now. It does have red switches, which is nice. I really like mechanical keyboards and I'm not too concerned about the yellowing because at least the keyboard still works and I'm still able to use it, so it's honestly fine with me. And then this Razer mouse I've had I think since either 2018 or 19, I can't remember, but I'm just gonna keep it for now. I am gonna replace it eventually, but right now it's just not a good time to replace it. It still works anyway, I'm not having any issues with it other than Razer keeps trying to install their software all the time. And every time I upgrade my computer or reinstall, it always pops up during the Windows installation and it's really annoying. But this razor light used to light up, but I broke it like a few years back because I threw my mouse because it got mad and yeah, that happened. That's why you gotta be careful sometimes when you play games, you get angry and you throw your mouse by accident. Yeah, don't do that. It's, it's just not a good idea because that was the result. I mean, I don't really care about the razor logo lighting up anyway because if my hand is here, it covers it. So I don't find it that big of a deal. So that's why I still use it because functionality is more important as long as it works and it still works. I did get rid of the mouse pad and put it here because it just looks really ugly and I need to get a new one. This one's falling apart. I've had it for a few years. And this is the remote for my lights. And then over here is my USBs and stuff like that. I just keep all my USBs in here so if I need one I can use it. But I need to go through those USBs because there's probably like random stuff on them but about my desktop i mean i built this computer back in may of 2019 and i started getting the parts i think in april i'll find some screenshots to overlay on this video of screenshots i have of me getting the parts and stuff but i was really excited to build this computer and the reason i built this computer in the first place was one I wanted to have more screens because I only had like one on my laptop, which I had the HP Envy as my main back then, and I wanted more than one screen. So I got my desktop for that, but also because I wanted to have a dedicated GPU because I was doing a lot of video editing with DaVinci and it was just not very responsive on that computer because of integrated graphics. So I wanted to upgrade to a better GPU but also a better CPU because, I mean, it wasn't a bad CPU in my NV. It was an i7 4th gen, which is honestly fine, but I did want to have a bit more powerful of a CPU to be able to handle what I was doing. But the third reason was I needed storage because I was starting to you know, run out of storage and stuff. I didn't want to have to use external hard drives all the time, and I wanted to have a drive in my computer for storage. And when I first built this computer, it actually had, you know, the 500 gig NVMe and the six terabyte storage drive. But if we look at my configuration right now, it's different. Oh, great. That's great. But if we look at my configuration now, it's a bit different because as you guys can see, I have the 500 gig NVMe, but now I have a one terabyte data drive. Now this was another NVMe drive I put in just recently towards the beginning of the year. Might've been the end of 2021 actually that I put it in. I think it might've been December, 2021 or January, 2022, but I upgraded the drive. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to have faster storage and then I put my storage drive in my server, which is my NAS and it handles my storage now. So I have network storage on another computer with my six terabyte in it and then NVMe on my computer. So that way 
My computer is full SSD storage, but I still have the drive to be able to actually put files on over the network, and it's honestly fine. The speeds are fine. There's no issues or anything like that. And sometimes my computer would lock up when I had the drive in my computer, like it would freak out. And because of linked folders and stuff like that, it just didn't seem as fast. But I don't have any issues now. So I'm gonna actually start recording on my computer to finish this because my phone takes up a lot of storage when recording and I'm probably gonna show some things. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm on my computer. You guys probably already saw the system specs because they're right in my desktop info, but I'll also show these ones as well for you guys. So I have an i7 9700K, 32 gigs of RAM and I'm running Windows 10 Enterprise 22H2 apparently because one day I got sent an MSU file on Microsoft's website, like on the update catalog, and someone was like, there's an emergency update, and I installed it, and this happened, so they were just trying to trick me into installing 22H2, which isn't even out yet, but because basically all 2004 plus builds are the same, I just kept it installed because it's going to be a thing soon anyway. And it's not much different it was just an enablement package that i installed meaning the features were already in the operating system as microsoft adds them in cumulative updates and then an enablement package will just enable them in the registry so it's really the same operating system just with longer support and the build number changed i don't really know what else changed in this update i've not noticed any differences so i just said why not keep it you know there's no problem here so Anyway, yeah, this is my main system, and if you see my graphics card, I have a Radeon RX 580 still, which honestly is perfectly fine for my use case on what I use my computer for. So, here it is right here in Task Manager with the GPU tab open, and it's got 8 gigs of memory on it. Well, GPU memory. I'm on the latest driver, even the optional one, because I heard AMD did a lot of improvements in the latest driver and the optional one that made games a lot faster. And I will agree, it seems to have made my computer run better. So if you're on AMD, I would actually recommend updating your graphics driver because it'll perform much better in games. Because they did a lot of modifications to make something better. I don't know exactly what I forgot off the top of my head, but I know it's better. But you can see I'm only using 8 gigs of RAM right now, because honestly, there was only a few times I've ever maxed out my RAM, and it was when I was running like a VM with a game running at the same time and stuff like that, and yeah. But I really maxed out my RAM a lot during that time, and I believe I was actually on Windows 7, because Alright, you might hear some background noise, but it's the only time I can really record since I want to at least get one video done today. But anyway, this computer ran 7 a few times, however I wouldn't recommend running 7 on Modern Hardware because it just didn't seem to perform as well in video games, and it's just not meant for the hardware, so I just stick with Windows 10. Now you guys are probably wondering, why am I not on Windows 11? Yes, I do have compatible hardware. I can open Device Manager and show you that I do have compatible hardware. I do have a TPM module. I support Windows 11 fully, but I'm just not running it because I just prefer 10 and I'd rather use 11 on another system to get used to it. And then maybe at some point in the future, perhaps when 22H2 for Windows 11 is released, maybe I'll jump to it. I'm still not sure yet though. However, one thing about my computer, the Bluetooth doesn't work. As you can see, it's like unknown USB device, and when I try and add Bluetooth, it just doesn't work. But I'll show you that in a minute, because one thing is, this Windows install is from March of 2022, and now it is August 2022. So it's been almost five months since I've had this Windows install, and I've not really had any issues with it. So I've just been keeping it going and I don't really reinstall unless I absolutely have to or if I'm having an issue. I was thinking about reinstalling for looking back, but I have decided against it because my install is working perfectly fine and I don't really have time to reinstall right now because there's a lot of videos I need to get out and stuff and I just can't be bothered resetting my whole computer for a video. It's just, it's not worth it in my opinion, but yeah. If I go to updates, the funny thing is, is that Windows 11 doesn't show up here. And I think it's because I'm on a domain and updates are managed on a domain. So basically it doesn't ever show. But one thing is that I think it's trying to downgrade my graphics driver, which is kind of funny. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to downgrade my graphics driver. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But with Bluetooth, if I try and add a device, it just says couldn't connect and it doesn't work. And I've had this issue ever since I've built my computer. I'm not sure what the problem is and why it doesn't work, but I don't really use Bluetooth devices on my computer anyway. However, if I could, it would be really nice, but it just doesn't work. Unfortunately, that's the case. It just doesn't work. But you can see the drives I have in it. This is the data drive that I have, the NVMe WD Blue, and then my NVMe Samsung 970. I don't know why it says SCSI. I think this might be the wrong driver. I might have to fix that. Yeah, it sometimes does that, so I might have to go and update that because something's wrong. That That's not right, I don't think. But basically, this is my computer. I am going to show you guys some screenshots of when I built my computer. Yes, I do have a recording that's like seven hours, but I don't have time to go through the entire recording and show it. Plus there's a lot of things I don't want to show in that video that are in that video. Even though it was recorded back in 2019, there's just a lot of unnecessary stuff that I'd rather not show. So that video, I'm probably not going to show it. Maybe one day I will edit it and cut out all the unnecessary stuff and then time lapse it, but I just don't have the moment to do that. Maybe in the future when I actually have time, that could be a future video, but right now I'm just going to show you some screenshots from it and you guys will be looking at those right now while I finish talking about my computer. So basically with this computer, I plan to keep it for a while because it's working fine for what I use it for. It's the main system I pretty much use for everything. It actually got me through online classes because I had to start taking them ever since all that started back in 2020 where people couldn't go to school and stuff. So I started doing everything online and using my computer. And I will say having three screens is very helpful, especially for being in online classes because I use all of them. And even when I'm not in online classes, I like to multitask and it's really helpful to have more than one screen. It's just, it's a very helpful thing and I really like it. And I just really like the fact of having multiple monitors. It's just a nice thing to do. And my plan is I'm just gonna keep using it for as long as I can. I'm gonna stick with my GPU for now, especially because GPUs are expensive and I don't really have a problem with my current one. Yeah, there's much better GPUs out there, but I don't have any reason to replace my GPU right now. It's just, it's not that important to me. As long as I can do what I need to do, I'm okay with it and it does what I needed to do. And it's still much better than my NV. And I still wonder, how did I deal with my NV? Like now when I use it, it just gets really hot. So I just don't use it much anymore. I actually plan to repaste the thermal paste in my NV, but I just haven't had the chance to do that either. And I am starting school soon, so I'm going to start recording a ton of videos and getting them ready and scheduled, which is why you guys are seeing three looking backs this week instead of two, because the last week I just could not do more. It just wasn't a good week to record whatsoever for me, but hopefully that's going to change and I will get the series done. After the series, I'll still have videos every Wednesday if possible, but some weeks I might not have an upload depending on how busy I am and because I don't know what my schedule is gonna be like yet because I have no idea until my school starts. Anyway, you guys saw my computer and stuff like that. I'll show some also some screenshots from old desktops of when I've had my computer, but I've ran practically every single operating system on it. I've ran Mac OS on it, I've ran Linux on it, I ran probably every version of Windows 10, I ran Windows 7, I ran Windows 8.1, and I don't think I ran Windows 8, like 8.0, because I don't think it would let me install. It would always say there's a driver missing and wouldn't let me. So yeah, I never ran Windows 8.0. It just, my computer did not want to do that. But the reason I don't really run Windows 8 is because it doesn't support my drivers. And you know, Windows 8.1 doesn't technically support my graphics driver, but it will work, but it'll have weird issues. And 7 just isn't meant for the hardware either. So I wouldn't run Windows 7, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the installed applications I have. So I'll sort this by name, because why not? And you guys can see the installed apps. Now, I don't use all of these apps. I just have a lot of stuff installed from when I've had this Windows install. I actually plan to clean my computer out when I have the chance and uninstall things I don't use, because there's a lot of things in here that I just don't use that are installed still. 
and I need to really go through because there was times I installed something and then used it once and then never used it again and yeah it creates a lot of clutter when you do that so yeah I'll just scroll this because some of the names are really long like the Microsoft ones are really long but I only have 79 programs installed on my computer and that's it because I don't really try to install many things. I usually just install things as I use them and I need to go through them. But if I sort through like installed on, I, you can see I updated my driver and stuff like that. But if I sort it again, this is when I installed Windows, which was March 27th of 2022, because you can see these programs are here. And I'm gonna keep this installed for as long as I can until I'm having problems and need to reinstall because as I said, I was gonna actually go to LTSC 2021 but I've decided against it too because it's pretty much the same as regular Windows 10 21 H2. So I just don't really see a point for me going to it at least. And you can also debloat Windows anyway and remove all the UWP apps and stuff like that. But I do have this open shell start menu on my computer, which I'm debating if I should go back to the default. I mean, I like the open shell one, it's nice, but the default one is also nice, which I think I know how to get to it. Don't I like hold shift and click it, I think? Yeah, that's how I get to it. This is the default start menu, which is honestly fine. I don't really have any issues with the default, although I'm still using this one for some reason because I don't really know. But anyway, this video was kind of long because I talked about my computer, but I also showed some screenshots and I talked about, you know, why I built my computer and stuff like that. If I left anything out, I'll add another video here but I think I talked about everything, so I think we're fine. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, but I'm glad I got this computer. Also, I was able to afford this computer because of YouTube, so I really appreciate your guys' support for watching my videos and stuff like that, because if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't have been able to build a computer this good, so I'm glad I was able to do that and it's awesome and I'm gonna continue making videos because I do enjoy it. I do it as a hobby. I am busy with school a lot and stuff but when I get the chance I do record some videos. Anyways I'm gonna stop the video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and bye bye for now.